You're doing good, Gizmo. He's still tripping out. Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Sally Face. <laughs> so, last episode, we pretty much figured out that we can interact with ghosts and we're gonna be ghost hunting things. I wasn't expecting to be ghost hunting things, but <laughs> this is this is gonna be really interesting and I am going to explore every single room this episode because I have a ghost device, I might as well use it, and I want to know more backstories on these different ghosts and stuff and unlock the, the unlock the different chapters in our gear boy so i'm pretty excited for that <laughs> but anyways let's go ahead and get started on this ghost hunting adventure all right so we already went into todd's place right yeah so like does it interesting oh okay okay oh so i could just walk around like this oh that's so cool oh todd Is there anything in your room? No, interesting, okay. Interesting. I'm trying to find any records relating to the a a Addison apartments. I'll probably need to hack into the police database as well, so this could take some time. Check back in later. All right, thanks, Todd. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, that's right. We, we, we can't go in Todd's parents' room. But there is one place I'm very curious about. I'm just making sure. There is one place I'm curious about, and that is Larry's kitchen, I believe. That's where we saw the weird image. I'm really curious to see what that is, but let's go ahead and explore all of floor two. Anything? No, 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 no. What is going on in that room? Because I hear like sawing construction noises and stuff. Like who lives there? <laughs> God. The people that lived here moved out after what happened with Charlie. Is there like... Okay, I can't go in there. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, Charlie's place. Oh! <laughs> okay, wait, I'm afraid. Wait, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm afraid. <laughs> Cause I don't know what to expect. And then this isn't Charlie's room out of all things. Hello? Um, what? What just happened? Did we like break a seal or something? What happened? Interesting, okay. Okay, yeah, and then he doesn't want to go in the bathroom. I don't blame him. <laughs> so that was Charlie's place. I definitely overreacted in there. I was bracing myself. <laughs> All right, but we are on floor two. Let's go down to floor one. Just get that over with. No, actually, no, B. Let's check out Larry's place. And then we're, we're just going to go up from here. What is up? I'm just looking for ghost and paranormal activity. You are no help at all, sir. Yeah, no help at all. I don't like Chug. <laughs> I really don't like Chug. All right, it was back here that I had like some weird, a weird interaction. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. This is, this is exciting. Okay, wait. It's scary and exciting at the same time, but who are you? What the? Ooh, ooh, six, six, six. Ooh, ooh, six. Ooh, six came up. Okay. Play. Ooh, chapter six. 
in seeking providence starts. <laughs> Ooh, chapter six. A young occultist found herself tangled in the bowels of the castle, searching for the final components of the council required. Oh, ooh, can I attack? No, okay. <laughs> oh, interesting. Oh, occultist, you see. Wait, I didn't. Okay. You know what? Let me let me play with the D-pad because I was playing with the stick. Let me do D-pad because the stick probably drifted me in the wrong direction. This is not easy, actually. It has like a weird startup. I don't know, it's weird. Like the wind up is a little weird to move, if that makes sense. Oh, interesting. What is this? I got one, whatever this was, a skull. Am I compiling a body? I'm giving someone here some anxiety <laughs> with my movements. I tend to do that, naturally do that. Okay, I'm just making sure that there's nothing else on this side. Okay, oh, okay, that was the beginning. Oh, interesting. Oh, interesting. Okay, we're collecting things to put by the pentagram, I see. Or, yeah. Oh, this is so nerve-wracking. Because I'm afraid to die. Oh, dead end, thanks. Thanks for making me do all that work. <laughs> okay. Was that it? Hello, is there anything else? Oh, okay, thank you. I was traveling far and wide. And then we can just go back down. then we go up because I didn't really explore all of up yet all right let's go up straight up oh there goes one. Oh, oh there were only oh okay I have retrieved the remaining assets very good the preparations are now complete Stay within the circle while we perform the summoning. You see, I don't think that's a good idea because when you say stay in the circle, something bad usually happens to the person that stays in the circle. <laughs> so you're, you're probably getting sacrificed. I am so sorry. I understand. What do you mean you understand? Saw in episode one in that same area. Is that what happened to that person? Is that person the entity? And then that entity is stuck in this building? Is this building built on the sacrificial grounds on which we've been sacrificed on? <laughs> like. Okay, I was bracing myself. <laughs> I was bracing myself for a jump scare. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> interesting. <clears throat> that was very interesting. Okay. Bathroom. Anything in your bathroom? No. No bathroom ghosts here. 
All right. Let's check Larry's room, actually. What's up, Larry? How's it going, bro? Nope, nothing. Really? Okay. So, who are you? Are you Jim Johnson? Who, who is Jim Johnson? Who are these people, Sal? No, no, no Sal? It F live and you're breaking up. I can't quite hear you. I re I have time to remember eat all. Ye remember the red ball. Remember the red ball. Interesting. What do you mean? What are you? Eat go in age sing got red ball. It die die die. Okay, so I need this ball or someone is going to die. Geek are oo. Episode two. Just when I thought I was getting used to seeing ghosts, then that happens. Whatever that was. My life is weird. Yeah, it is weird, Sal. <laughs> it's pretty weird. <laughs> All right, but we have a second chapter. So I'm curious. Chapter two. And the mysterious old woman gazed once again into Jim's eyes and said, if you can't find the door this key unlocks, we will share the secrets of the universe with you. Oh, so if, if I can find the key, interesting. Oh, I'm so smart. Easy puzzle, easy peasy. Ooh, uh, enter, yes. Um, he's, okay, the controls are a lot more fluid in this one. The other one was just kind of weird. I can zip and zoom, glide and stuff. Wee. Nice. Wait! Wait! Oh, do I have to do it all over again? Okay, no good. Okay, good, good. <laughs> Enter. Uh, interesting. I feel like the symbols mean something. I don't know. They may mean something, and I'm. It's going way over my head. Like, I think I remember what the first one was. <laughs> All right. Onward to the next section. Oh. Use key? Wait, I'm confused! Wait, wait, I, I, I want to see something real quick. Because I didn't interact with the pillars, I want to see what the pillars have. Okay, so it looks like there is nothing, so I just use the key and that's it. <laughs> All right. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm actually very surprised because there was something in, in the treehouse. Very surprised. Does Larry have anything to say? Oh, sh okay. Is your mom okay, Larry? Because apparently she's still sick and I need to go into her room still to check on her. Yeah, she'll be all right. The change of seasons always gets to her. It's just a bad cold. She'll be okay. Are, are you sure, Larry? Because it seems pretty serious. And check out my new super gear boy. Todd made that? That's pretty awesome. Like, wait, is that my walkie talkie? Oh, yeah. He needed the parts for the upgrade. I hope you don't mind. I I can get us new ones. 
Damn. Well, that's okay. Hopefully, it will help to find out more about these ghosts and my curse. Agreed. Of course. Yes, I'll be back. Hasta la vista, Sally. All right. Hasta la vista. Or how we say in the Paldea region in Pokemon, hasta la vista. <laughs> All right. Is there any ghosty ghosts in here that are making you sick? No. Interesting. All right. Are you okay? Can I get you anything? Don't trouble yourself any, Sal. Larry is taking good care of me. Are you sure you look worse? Kinda worse, actually. I I, I think she's gonna die, but that's just me. <laughs> I, I think she's gonna die. But that sucks. Alrighty, let's go to floor one. Oh, is there anything here on floor one on the outside? No? Oh, Gibson, can I go inside your home? I think Mrs. Gibson would kill me if I bothered her again. Yeah, probably. And Mrs. Rosenberg. Is there any ghosty ghosts in your beautiful home? Oh, Miss Rosenberg, yes. Okay, um... What are we dealing with? Miss <laughs> Rosenberg? I'm speechless. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I'm speechless. <laughs> um... Oh my, what is that horrific device you have? It's, uh, well, it's sort of hard to explain. You really shouldn't tamper with things that you don't understand. Well, I should probably go check in with Todd again and see if he's found anything. Right, okay, Mrs. Rosenberg, though, can you, like, can you explain what happened, miss? Is Miss Rosenberg a ghost? Is she an apparition? Because that's some that's some crazy sh Chapter one, of course you're chapter one. She desperately sought a place among the council. So the aspiring witch traveled deep into the castle for the initiation trial to receive the book of forgotten truths. Miss Rosenberg, is that you? interesting okay so this is is the story like based off of like some weird cult thing that happened this is what this feels like so far oh come on really a dead end I hate dead ends. I hate it when they do that to you. Wait! <sighs> so I totally forgot to use the D-pad. <laughs> so I overshot. But I made it pretty far using the analog. Oh, interesting. Take book. I have retrieved the book of forgotten truths. Will you not see my worth now? The council recognizes the great resolve you've shown us today. Let this book stand as testament of your place among your ranks from henceforth. May our sight pierce the heavens and our reach be infinite and everlasting. For we are the devourers of God. What do you mean you are the devourers of God? Miss Rosenberg, what did you do? Interesting. So that was the start of all this. She gave the book to the cultists. And then um, the cult member gathered, I guess, souls of pe dead people. And then 
did the ritual the person that in there turned into some weird entity and then i'm assuming that entity condemned all of the souls that have died in this building or kills or influences somebody to kill in this building 100 percent. that's what's going on oh mr addison hello you got nothing all right good day <laughs> okay let's see now, this is interesting though very interesting Ooh, 104 i don't think anyone lives here so we can open the door find out who lives there <laughs> interesting no ghosty ghosts and of course i can't go outside all right onward to floor three all right here we are floor three Ooh, 301 they're pretty busy right now i probably shouldn't bother them right college students oh david can i go in your home sup brother all right see ya see ya okay bye <laughs> all right uh ooh. chuck is downstairs and his parents work on the weekends so chuck could do us a solid and we can go inside no one's home man floor three was boring all right floor four it is all right anything on floor four he must not be home right oh my place yes oh my place is the perfect place you're doing good gizmo he's still tripping out all right <laughs> anything here right okay bathroom any ghosty ghosts no interesting how about my room because we keep having nightmares i wonder if there's anything in here there's nothing there's nothing interesting oh papa i'm just scanning for some apparitions <gasps> is our home clean hey dad can't talk right now sal i have to make this deadline for work all right no problem nice our home is clean let's go what oh let's go All right, and then of course 403, we can't go inside. Yeah. <laughs> and 404, I don't think anyone lives here, of course. Interesting, okay. And the last place that we gotta go is uh, the fifth floor that I'm deathly afraid of right now. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Sal. <laughs> it's okay, Sal. We got this. Oh, we can meet your friend. I just realized. We can meet your friend. Or not. They're not coming out. Sal, where is your friend? Alright. And 503 is locked. Okay. Of course the cage! Of course! Of course the cage! Of course! Of course! Alright. Right, okay. Oh, no new chapter this time. All right. Of course, of course there's one where the eyeball was. I had a feeling too. I'm like, if I walk more, I'm sure there's gonna be one where the hole was. Okay, new chapter. That didn't look good. No new chapter, interesting. 
and this is locked. Huh. Well, I've been to every floor. Yeah, and I did everything. I went to each and single floor. All right, Todd. How's it going? Let me just double check your place, Todd. Gotta make sure there's no apparitions. All right, Todd, what is up? It's strange, but I can't find any reports of past murders. The only one that comes up is our friend, Charlie. But look at this photo of him on the public record. Wait, Charlie Mansfield? Local murderer receives life sentence. What the? Yeah, that does not look like Charlie. Charlie looked a lot more gross. <laughs> um, hello? It gets even weirder. There's no trace of any of the officers that were here the day M Mrs. Sanderson was killed. Not even in the classified police reports. It's as if they weren't here at all or like they don't even exist. How is that possible? I'm not entirely sure, but I did find one interesting thing. It's a missing person case from 1987. Megan Holmes, age seven, lived in Addison Apartments with her parents, Luke and Stacy. Looks like it may be our, looks like it may be your little friend from upstairs. She must be the daughter that Greg from my bathroom was telling us about. The stories line up, right? Well, here's where it gets weird again. There's an update to the report one day after the original was filed, stating that the girl was found dead in Wendigo Lake. That's a few miles south of here, along with her parents. Says they had been fishing and fell into the river and drowned. Some kind of a mudslide or something. Oh, that's definitely her. What? Wait a second. I've seen that necklace before. I know I have. She's never wearing it when I talk to her, but I've seen it somewhere else. You have. Since you haven't been able to summon her, even with the super gear boy, perhaps finding that necklace will help somehow. That actually makes a lot of sense. It's something she had a connection to when she was alive. Now, I, I just need to remember where the hell I saw that thing. Where did we see this, Sal? Because I'm not remembering. Um, <laughs> oh boy. All right, I guess I will see you guys, I'm assuming, when I find the thing. Ah, okay. I had a feeling, I'm like, watch it be in the lost and found box. All right. I knew I saw that necklace somewhere. Interesting. Now Larry will see Megan for sure. Okay. I'm not excited to see Megan. Okay, work your magic whenever you're ready. Uh, hi, Megan. Megan, are you with us? This is my friend Larry. We have some questions to ask you. Hi, Sally Face. Holy f knuckles. Hey, language, Larry, language. Even though she's a ghosty ghost, she's still a kid. That's not a nice word, Larry. <laughs> You'll have to forgive him, Megan. He's never seen a ghost before. It's okay. My daddy says bad words sometimes, too. Where have you been lately, miss? What do you mean? I've been here the whole time. I've been trying to reach you. I think when you're alive, you can't see the other side. The other side? Yeah, that's where we all live. It's just like this place, but a little different. The other side, you say? Is this other side very evil and mean? <laughs> Do you know someone named Greg? Oh, you mean mommy's friend. I like Greg. He always brings me candy. Can you remember anything else about him? Um, just that he was nice and always brought candy. Oh, uh, my daddy didn't like him so much, but I don't know why. Um, because Greg was trying to get a piece of mommy. <laughs> That's why daddy didn't like Greg. <laughs> what can you tell me about your parents? 
I miss my mommy. She doesn't talk anymore. What about your dad? Daddy scares me now. He scares everyone here, but he wasn't always like that. He used to be nice like mommy. What happened? I remember they had a fight and then he was sad. Then his sadness turned into angriness. I, I, I think it, it, it turned into angriness because they were fighting that she was basically cheating on him with Greg and then did daddy kill everybody because I'm suspecting daddy got angry and he just killed you mommy and him so you guys could be together forever um do you remember your last days I don't know it's all blurry now were you fishing at Lake Wendigo huh no I've never been fishing before but my daddy went sometimes with Mr. Johnson wait Jim Johnson yeah, how did you know that? That's my dad. Oh sh Oh sh wait! Wait, wait, so so the thing that we saw in the treehouse! That was Larry's dad. Could Larry's dad be stuck in the other dimension that she's talking about? The other place? And then he's saying he's warning us about I guess the red ball. Don't forget this red ball or else something's gonna happen. And... Oh my god, I don't know. Like, my brain's going like... <laughs> like, I'm trying to theory craft, but it's hard because... This is so weird. <laughs> it's so weird, but interesting too. Like, I am so curious now with what happens. Oh, I guess our daddies were friends. <laughs> Can you tell me where he is? Do you know anything else about him? Please, I need to know. I'm sorry you lost your daddy. I don't know where he is. I just know Mr. Johnson and my daddy went fishing a lot. Right. I'm sorry. It's okay. Is this your necklace? Hey, yes! Where did you find that? It was downstairs in the bottom of the lost and found box. My mommy gave me that necklace. She was scared. She said it would protect me from the evil in the world. Do you know where your mommy is now? She's in her bedroom, but she never listens to me anymore. I don't think she can hear me. Do you think she... Uh-oh. What? What do you mean, uh-oh? Daddy's coming. He doesn't like it when I talk to people. I have to go. Bye-bye. Wait, I... Uh, a five, thanks. We, we, we got a new Gear Boy chapter. <laughs> yeah, they never seem to stick around long enough. Right, okay, so the entity is her daddy. 100%. Whatever that angry thing we see, that's her daddy. Well, we're going to need to get into that bedroom, but it's all boarded up. Can you get some tools for us? Actually, David borrowed my mom's crowbar and never gave it back. Would you mind going and getting it from him? I've asked him like three times now and he always has some excuse. Maybe you'll have better luck. Sure. I'll head down to the third floor now and see what I can do. All right, yeah, third floor, let's go and get a crowbar. You know, just do our thing. Get a crowbar, intrude someone's ghosty space, and then probably, I don't know, get some angry spirit come at us. And more nightmares for me and you. <laughs> All right, let's start. Chapter five. Playtime was interrupted by the promptly setting sun. In that moment, the young girl realized she had gone far too deep into unfamiliar woods. Oh, you are... Oh my god, this is the little girl. Is this... Are we gonna see how you die? Is this how you die? Can I go the other way? I can go the other way. All right. That's interesting. I can go up? All right, let's try up. Uh... Left, maybe?
up? Okay, I don't I don't know. Okay, so it looks like it's left or right. Let me try left left. Okay, so left left down. Uh down. Left. Okay. Okay, left. Left. Down. Down. I'm just gonna go right. Damn it. What happens if I just go straight left? Darker. Wait. Wait. I am so dumb. I am so dumb. I literally went every other way but down. Hurry up, die. Die, die, die. Hurry up. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. I literally went every other way but down. I feel so dumb. All right, okay. Okay, let's go. Down. Bam. And then follow where there's no leaves because that left is the only section that had no leaves. Interesting. So I go down. And then I go right. Oh, let's go! Uh, ooh! <laughs> Oh, let's go. Ooh, pat on the back. Let's go, because I was driving myself nuts. <laughs> Where have you been, child? You had me worried sick. I'm sorry, Mama. I was lost, and it was so dark, and... and... Hush now, my sweet angel. Everything is okay here. I want you to have this. Grandma's necklace? It will protect you from the wickedness in this world, so you don't have to be afraid anymore. I totally forgot the voice I gave the mama, by the way. <laughs> what about father? He doesn't have to know. This will be our little secrets. What? Wait. Is that why papa is mad? Does papa have something against grandma? Interesting. Very interesting, okay. Oh, things got really interesting. I totally forgot where I was supposed to go. I was so invested in that. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, that's right, that's right. I need to get the crowbar. <laughs> All right, uh, David, can I get a crowbar? Sup, brother? Yeah, can I borrow your crowbar? <laughs> Please. I'd love to lend it to ya, but it's the only thing hoping, holding up my shelf right now. Right, but you see, David, I really need it. It's literally a life or death situation, and this could mean that your soul could be saved with this one crowbar if you let me do what I need to do. See, those kids next door in 301, they're nice kids. And all but they have these real loud parties sometimes. Shakes the whole wall and my shelves falls right down. If Yens would like, if Yens talk, could talk to them for me, get them a little quieter, then I could let Yins borrow the crowbar. And thank you for everybody in comments that let me know that Yins is literally y'all, but for um pennsylvania <laughs> which is weird to me uh because i've never heard of yins but thank you thank you <laughs> thank you for letting me know that yins is y'all because i was going crazy last episode just trying to figure out what the hell david was saying <laughs> 
Okay, I can talk to them. Thanks, Sal. I do it myself, but I'm out of... I'm out of clean clothes, you see? And I just hate to be the old party pooper, you know? It's not a problem. I'll be right back. See yas. All right, see yas. <laughs> All right, ooh, we gotta bother the party kids? What? Wait, no, the party kids are next door. Exit elevator, please. Yeah, they're next door. There they go. Oh, hello, college kids. Ew. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> they threw me off guard. <laughs> oh, hi. Hello. I'm just searching for ghosts real quick. Oh, oh, hi. You are pretty. Anyways, um, bathroom. Anything in your bathroom? Just a ghost, a, a ghost inspector. Just making sure there's no ghosts. Just making sure. All right, let's go. Okay, Sierra, hello. Hey, Sierra, w what are you up to? Oh, hey, Sally Face. I'm contemplating an alternate activity for tonight's party. My friends and I usually like to do our own thing, but I'm having trouble narrowing it down. Is it okay if I look over your list? Sure. Activity list. Oh, D&D, movie night, video games, chess tournament, karaoke debate. Oh, nice. What about video game night? How about this? That's usually my go-to choice also. That could work. Yeah, video games, let's go. Can I keep choosing? Hey, can I see, see that list again? Oh, um... Interesting. D&D? How about this? Ew, we usually do D&D on Thursdays, so I sort of want to do something different tonight. All right, okay, then what about movie night? Movie marathons are always fun, but unfortunately, I don't think we'd be able to wear very... or hear very well with everything going on. Alright, then how about chess tournament? It has been a while since we've done a tournament. That's a perfect choice for tonight. There you go, perfect choice. There you go. I, I just want the perfect choice. Hey, what's up, CJ? How's it going? Yo, what's up, Sal? Hey, CJ! What are you up to? I'm trying to choose the music for our party tonight. Mind if I have a look? Go for it, little dude. Um... Yeah, this- this is not working out. Okay, wait, I- I, I want to see the other choices, but so far this is the best choice out of everything. No, no, no. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I like this. You know what, they're playing chess though. If, 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 they're, if they're gonna play chess, we gotta go hard. Let's go. How about this? Love it, good choice, little man, yeah! And hello, ooh, Azaria, hi. Hey Z, what's up? Hey Sally Face, I'm trying to choose a game for the party tonight. I've got this little book of games, but I don't know. Can I take a look? be my guest. Ooh, ooh, musical chairs, charades, duck duck moose. <laughs> ooh, dodgeball. But you know what? We'll, we'll do dodgeball. We'll do dodgeball. How about this game? As fun as that, as fun as that sounds, I don't think there's quite enough room in here for dodgeball. Okay, then we'll look at the book again. Um, ping pong telephone could be too noisy because of the music. Or musical chairs, actually. That's perfect. How about this game? I think that could work. We have enough chairs, and CJ is working on the music now. Yeah, this would be fun. All right, cool, Azaria. Of course, of course. No, no, we we picked musical chairs. That's it. 
that's it. We're just gonna do musical chairs. Thanks for helping me out, Sally Face. Yeah, okay, of course. Can I check out those songs again? Am I supposed to actually pick the right, right thing? Okay, so what about this? How about this? We did this for the last party. I need something different this time. Okay. How about this one? Yeah, I dig this one. This was my original pick too. So, so we're done? We're not, okay. No. What about this one? Nah, this, this isn't really my thing. Okay, yeah. No. <laughs> How about this? Huh, you know, there's something interesting about this one. It's unexpected, it's classy. I think this could work. So, so we got, we're good? Thanks for helping me with the music, Sally Face. Okay, yeah, so I was actually supposed to pick the right one. All right, um, Miss Azaria, we need to repick. Yeah, can we look at this? All right, so we got chess with classical music. What goes with the chess and classical music? I thought musical chairs, but no, not charades, not Doc Duck Moose, maybe telephone? How about this game? Hmm, you know, this reminds me of grade school. That touch of nostalgia could be just what this party needs. Thanks, Sal. Oh, yes, I got them all right. <laughs> I think that does it. Their party should be much quieter now. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot that the whole point of this was to make their party quieter. I am out of it today. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Their party's gonna be a lot quieter. So how about we um, go back to David's place and get that crowbar? Sup, brother? Uh, can I borrow a crowbar? I worked it all out with the college students. They're going to have a much more low-key party this time. Wow, that's great news. Thanks for helping me out. Sarah will be so happy too. Last time, her wedding picture almost blowed up to pieces. I'm glad I could help. Right, let me grab that crowbar for Zeus. One second. Oh man, here you go, buddy. Take care. Thank you. Thanks, you too. Thanks, yeah, you too. All right. Ooh, 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 ooh. Crowbar, crowbar, crowbar. All right, so it looks like we're running on time here. <laughs> Look, I don't mean to stop at cliffhangers. It just happens to be that if I continue anymore, this video is going to be a little too long. <laughs> but we are at a good point. We explored pretty much every room um, in this building. We got we got to play multiple chapters and figured out a lot, a, a lot more backstory, which is cool. And then um, now we're going to go check out that boarded up room in this room, 504, and just dove in further in, in, into this whole ghost hunting thing it's definitely a lot less scary than i thought it would be i was bracing myself for the worst towards the beginning but once i kind of saw what to expect it, it, it got a bit easier <laughs> it got a bit easier to do things so thank you guys for joining me on this a ghostly episode hope you have an awesome day and i will see you in the next episode bye bye